Ask yourself, what is time? Time is of the essence. Nowadays, people don't have time to really put a lot of things into prepping. They don't have time to spend prepping their prepping. Get what I'm saying? I mean, it's just like one of those things, you know, oh, I got to do all this to get this, and I'm spending all this time to prep. Why am I doing this? And that's why today on Survival Preparedness for Beginners, we are talking about dehydrating your frozen vegetables and why that is key to your time and how it saves you time to put more time into your family, to put more time into prepping, to put more time into your life. Time is of the essence. So let's get going on this video. First thing you're going to want to do is go out and get yourself, if you don't already have one, pick yourself up a handy dandy dehydrator. Just like this one right here, folks. I mean, this thing is, it's a Hamilton Beach. There's five trays. comes with one tray for your um, screen. And it comes with one tray that is for your little treats and stuff for your kiddos so you can make your own fruit roll-ups. You can put in it whatever you want. You know what you're giving your kids at this point in time. Now, you can buy extra uh, trays and screens and everything else. But what I did was <clears throat> I really don't do the fruit roll-up thing. So my kids are all grown up and gone. But I did need screens because if you're going to do small things like peas and corn and stuff, you want you got to have a screen because they're going to fall right through and they're all going to collect up but down here in the bottom. It's just a fact. Go on Amazon, pick yourself up some of this silicone matting, okay? You take the silicone matting, you trace out on your trays, go back and watch some of my videos. I show you exactly how to do this. It's very simple, folks, okay? You cut out what you need, all right? You cut out the hole for the... For the air and you cut out around your corners and stuff it's silicone you can throw it in the dishwasher right along with your trays and everything else this particular dehydrator it does all the trays and stuff do fit in the dishwasher which is another bonus and it saves you time all right so now once you did all that kind of good stuff something else you're going to want to think about getting especially if you're a beginner or you're just starting out on dehydrating like i was you pick yourself up one of these books all right, I picked this up on Amazon. I think I paid like 12 or 15 bucks for it. All right, it's 310 pages, and it is packed full and loaded with all different types of different products from all these different types of fruit roll-ups that you can make for your kids and everything else, or your grandkids maybe. You know, um, beef jerky, chicken jerky. You can do all your different vegetables, spices, fruits, the whole nine yards, it's in this book, 310 pages, and it's just packed full of information. And for the price, it, you just couldn't go wrong. Now, I'm hoping the price holds on some of this products, and the inflation hasn't hit some of this stuff. You know, like the dehydrator was about 60, 65 bucks. I don't know if it's still that same price on Amazon or not, but, you know, it was a great beginning point for me. It's been a great machine, and I've put it through a lot of different tests and everything else. Now, let's get to the point of why you want to do your frozen vegetables. Why is that so key? Why does that save you so much time? Maybe you're asking yourself that. Why? 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 I don't know. Well, I'm here to tell you. Here you go. This is why. All right. So if you go to the grocery store and you pick up, oh, well, you know, I, I want to get some carrots and I want green beans. I'm going to get, oh, look at the corn and the cobs on sale. I'm going to buy corn and a cob. And I'm going to come home and I'm going to dehydrate all this stuff. Well, you just can't come home, folks, and throw it into the dehydrator. You have to take and blanch it first. You have a lot of prepping to do. So if it's carrots, you have to peel the carrots. You have to cut the carrots. You have to blanch the carrots. You have to let the carrots dry a little bit before you put them into the dehydrator. Corn, you have to husk corn. All right. Now we all know sometimes that can be a pain unless you really know the good tricks. So you got to husk the corn and you got to cook the corn. Now you got to cut the corn off the cob. Now you got to let it cool, let it dry, and then you can put it into here. Now, if you're doing green beans and stuff, you got to snip the beans and everything else, then you got to blanch them and cut them. All right. Or you could do full green beans, but it is going to take yourself a lot longer to dehydrate than if you cut them up into smaller pieces like that what comes in a frozen bag. Now, 
Here's the trick. You go to the store. They're having a sale in a frozen food section. It's 10 for $10. So you reach in, grab yourself some corn. Oh wow, maybe I think I'll get myself some mixed vegetables too. Boom, you bring these bad boys home. They're frozen, right? I mean, hey, you just took them out of the freezer. They're frozen. You take it, set this up, put your screens in, dump these bad boys out on those trays, all right? You got five trays. You can do five bags at a time. Some things, you know, may not all fit on there. The corn, you get about a bag, a little over a bag on in the uh, trays. Turn on the bad boy and forget about it. So you tell me, folks, how easy was that? I mean, basically, you can take it out of there, have your trays all set out, dump them onto the trays, put them in there. I bet you, if you time yourself 10 minutes flat, you'd be done and the machine would be on and you'd be on to doing something else. You could be going out shopping. You could be going out to dinner. You could be spending time with your family. You could be prepping. You could be doing all different types of things. Maybe you have sporting events and all this kind of stuff, you know? but you're prepping while you're doing other things. And it was so simple, so, so simple. So that is why you want to make sure that you are using frozen vegetables when you're doing your dehydration. Now it also goes for your frozen fruit, all right? You can put those right on your trays and voila, turn it on, go do else what you got to do and everything else is done. So I'm here to help you save time, folks, in your dehydration. And this way you can prep more and be ready whenever the next storm rolls in. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners, and I'd like to thank you today for joining me on this little tour of dehydration and the tricks and why it is so much faster to use frozen vegetables or frozen anything really and if you have any questions or anything go back and watch some of my videos because i'm new at this just like you guys are as far as dehydration goes and i did a bunch of videos on dehydration explain my machines and everything else and what i was doing and i show you and the whole nine yards so you go back there i'll put a link to those videos and, and it's in a series in the playlist at the very end of this video and you can go in and you can watch it for yourself save yourself some time and speaking of time until next time you thrive to survive keep on prepping never stop save yourself the time dehydrate your frozen vegetables and your frozen fruits you'll thank me in the long run you'll have time to do whatever you want to do till then catch you all on the flip side mm -hmm.